all of us, we need friends. We need confidant to be able to enter into our hearts, to share our joys, to share our sorrows, to share our pain without any judgment. We just need someone actually in life just to listen to us. We want to be heard. We want to feel that people have understood us. And that is why the kind of friendship is so important. Sometimes when we are guests in a person's house, not all the time we want to have good food. Food is important, but food is not the most important. Because sometimes when we visit someone, all we want is to pour out our hearts. We want someone to listen to us, not someone to distract us with all the other things. That's why sometimes when people fast over us, we get irritated, we get annoyed. Because that is not what we want. Because what we want is someone to listen to us. So sometimes our hosts, they are not too sure of what we want. They do not sense our needs. In fact, they were just trying to be nice and to be good. When we want to invite a guest, we always want to make sure that the guest is well looked after. That's why before we invite a guest, normally we want to know the taste, what food they like to eat, what food they cannot eat, and all these things. Because we do not want to offend the guest. And this is what is required of us. To be hospitable requires us to be attentive to the needs of our guests. But more importantly, uh, hospitality at the end of the day, it is not just a question of providing comfort, physical or material comfort. Hospitality at the end of the day is a question of opening our hearts to the person, making time for the person, to make the guests feel they are very important because the guest comes to your house not to eat unless he's a beggar. The guest comes to your house in order to strengthen the bonds of friendship. The guest wants to know you better and the guest wants you to know him better. That is why sometimes, you know, even when I visit people's home, they are so nice. Yeah, very true. I'm very appreciative, you know. They go through all the trouble to prepare the place, prepare nice food, delicious food, but we have no time to talk. And especially to share deeply. It's just eating and going. That could be okay. At certain times when we are in a mood of celebration, but there are certain times the guest actually wants to know you. And that's the reason why when I pay pastor a visit, it's not the food. It is about the people. What I'm interested in is to know how they are living, how is their life, how is their faith. Is there something I can respond? Is there something I can enlighten you? Is there something that you need to know more about myself or to share with you my own struggles and experiences of life? Isn't it true? We know that the visit or sometimes when we spend time with our friends, and they say sometimes we have different kinds of friends. Some friends are for clubbing, for enjoying, for food. Some friends are for sharing. And we know the meal is beautiful when after the meal, we feel personal and rich, inspired by the time we have spent together with someone. It's the way also we cultivate our relationship with the Lord. It is in contemplative prayer that we actually grow in intimacy with the Lord. And it's very important that we need also to cultivate silence so that silence, as St. Teresa of Calcutta tells us, silence will lead to prayer, prayer to faith, faith to love, love to service, and service brings peace. We need to encounter God's love. Because anyone who encounters God's love deeply, if we intimate with the Lord, then God will live in us. Anyone who lives in love lives in God, and God lives in him.